Hello world, DJ Fedora here. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about facing my harshest critic. I realized that enough was enough that I had to face this person and look them right in the eye and tell them to leave me alone, that their opinion didn't matter, and it was really hard to do because I had to look in the mirror. It's true. I am my harshest critic. Um, this realization came to me the other day because I was working at my sandwich artist job and a fellow classmate from high school came in at the last moment he was like, do I know you from somewhere? Do we go to school together? And I was like, yeah, we did. And that was the brief interaction. And he's like, I thought I recognized you. And from that brief interaction, my brain started going, you should be embarrassed. You're working in fast food. You had the best marks in high school. You were an Ontario scholar and look what you're doing now. Granted, yeah. I did go to college. I followed my dreams. I chose to go into radio and follow music and not take the academic road, which means that maybe I don't have the best job, but let's be honest, I get to DJ. I get to host karaoke. I get to follow my passion and do what I want. Sure, my bread and butter job to make sure I pay the bills is something that most people turn their nose down at, which is ridiculous because it's not an easy job. And I actually enjoy making sandwiches for people. Cleaning not so much, but you know, it's one of those downsides of the store that has to be done. So I was thinking about it and as I was reflecting on all of this and walking home that night from work, I was like talking to myself. Not out loud or anything crazy, but in my head, going through all the pros and cons and disadvantages of everything I was thinking. And I realized that that classmate probably didn't even take two seconds to think, oh, she's working at this restaurant. More so, he was just focused on, I should know her from somewhere. What's her name? Where do I know her? The only person that was judging me in that situation was myself. So... Knock it off, self. <laughs> oh, sorry. Cheer guy because I'm exhausted. I'm up early to go have lunch with my grandmother today, and it's just... I look like a zombified raccoon, but it's going to be worth it. And she's a great lady. Back to my point, though. We are often our harshest critic. We are hard on ourselves. We are tough on ourselves. And we tend to, as human beings, pull in projections that other people are thinking instead of actually talking to these people and figuring out what they're actually thinking. We create situations of fear and negativity in our own heads to hold us back. Things I have to be grateful for. I have a job. In this crazy economy, I work full-time hours. Um, and, as I said, I technically have two jobs. My second one is more of a hobby that pays me, but I get to go out and I get to play music for people and I get to have fun and see my friends on a regular basis in a setting that is fun and exciting and I've met so many bands, so many different people, and it's been a blast. So knock it off self. Stop looking at the negative. Look at the positive. Look at what you've accomplished, not what you figure you should have. Because in the end, the only one judging you is you. Everyone else has their own stuff to worry about. I want to know what you guys think. What judgments do you cast on yourself? Do you have image issues? Do you have issues about your career and where you are in life? What's going on for you that you need to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself to knock it off? Because everyone has something. We all drive ourselves so hard that we stress over things that aren't even that important. And we miss out on the benefits and all the good things that we have going on because we're so focused on the negativity and the fear. So I'm making a promise as of today to try harder to focus on the good things, the little moments. Like, yes, I am exhausted. I just worked until two in the morning, probably didn't fall asleep till about five or six, but I'm up to go have lunch with my grandmother who's an amazing woman who has taught me so much. And that's important. So, if you like anything I've said today, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Comment below what you need to face and overcome. And, oh, 
I'm leaking. <laughs> and let's have a discussion about it. Let's build each other up and help each other through these times. Because in all honesty, we can all use an ear. We can all use a friend. And we all need someone to remind us that the only person that we have to face at the end of the day is ourselves. That's the only one that needs to be proud, really. Live your life to the fullest. Don't let fear hold you back. And don't let negativity and fear make you feel like anything you're doing is insignificant and doesn't matter. It all matters. And it's all important in the end. So, just wanted to get that out there. And at the end of the day, be able to look at this camera and say to myself, you're doing what you want to do with your life. Stop it. Stop judging yourself. Until next time, keep on dreaming.